boys and girls, welcome! Only Fun Maths! Let's learn about getting to know decimal numbers with Big and Little Rascals team. Ready? Let's go! Decimal numbers are something like this. Have you seen this kind of numbers before? So, what's that mean? Decimal number versus fraction. We use decimal number or fraction if we can't measure with the whole number. For more complex calculation, decimal numbers represent more precision and easier to use than fraction. While fraction works best in representing simple portion of one whole. If you are not familiar with fraction, not to worry, please check out our other fun learning videos in getting to know what is fraction only at Big and Little Rascals fun videos. Example of decimal numbers you can find when you use calculator. It shows decimal numbers for calculating the portion of whole numbers. But how to convert this fraction to decimal number? Example, one tenth. Let's divide one at the top with one at the bottom. It gives us one. Because there are still one zero left at the bottom, then we need to jump one time to the left. Add the decimal point after that and add zero at the front to indicate that this is less than one whole. One tenth in fraction is represented in decimal number as 0 0.1. Let's see this pizza. One whole pizza. One pizza divided into two. It gives us half. One divided by two. But how to say this half in decimal number? Let's visit our scale bar. Let's find half. So in decimal number, half is 0 0.5. Now I'm dividing this pizza into 4. How much in fraction? One whole pizza divided into 4. It becomes a quarter. And how to say this in decimal number? Let's zoom it. So in decimal number, a quarter is 0 0.25 At part 1 video, we have learned that 1 tenth converted to decimal number, you will get 0 0.1 And now, how about 1 out of 100 or we say 100 or 1 out of 1000 1 thousandth what are the decimal numbers for 100 and 1000 first let's look at 100 let's divide 1 at the top with 1 at the bottom it gives us 1 because there are still two zeros left at the bottom, then we need to jump two times to the left. One, two. We add zero for each empty jump. Then add the decimal point after that. And add zero at the front to indicate that this is less than one whole. Got it? Great work! Now, let's see. One thousandth. Let's divide one at the top with one at the bottom. It gives us one. Because there are still three zeros left at the bottom, then we need to jump three times to the left. One, two, and three. We add zero for each empty jump, then add the decimal point after that, and add zero at the front as this is less than one whole easy good job okay now let's try this example mark is 
flying with his air balloon from one point of a mountain to another mountain. The distance between two mountains is 800 meters. Let's convert 800 meters distance to kilometer and get the result in decimal number. To convert 800 meters to kilometer, we need to divide 800 meters with 1000. 800 divided by 1000. If you are not familiar with converting units of measurement from meter to kilometer, not to worry, please follow our video on how to convert unit of measurement only at Big Amateur Rascal's Fun and In videos. 800 divided by 1000. To simplify, we need to first strike out all the same zeros from top and bottom numbers, if any. And it left us with 8 out of 10. Now, let's put number 8 first after the equal sign. Because there's still one zero left at the bottom, then we need to jump one time to the left. Add the decimal point after that and add zero at the front. We get the decimal number as 0 0.8 kilometer. So 800 meters equal to 0 0.8 kilometers. Great job! Now let's get into more difficult challenges. Ready? This is one liter of fresh apple juice. We need to divide this into five cups equally. So the question is, how much each cup will get in liter? One liter divided into five cups. The fraction represented as one fifth. Because one is smaller than five, so we need to borrow, borrow one zero from our smiling star. So it can be divided by five. One zero borrowed. And now, the top number becomes 10, which is greater than 5. But, as 1 zero is borrowed, then we need to also put 1 zero after the equal sign and add a decimal point after that. This is to show that the result is less than one whole, only a fraction of one liter. And what is the number after the decimal point? That's what we need to find. Let's put a question mark first. Now, let's get back to our calculation. 10 divided by 5. This is now become division. To make it easier, let me ask this. What number do you think that if you multiply it by 5, you will get the result as 10? The answer is... 2! Great! If you are not familiar with multiplication, not to worry. Please watch our fun learning videos about multiplication only at Big Amateur Rascal's channel. Now, let's put number 2 in our question mark. So, the result is 0 0.2 liter. Each cup gets 0 0.2 liter. Excellent! Hope you enjoy this fun video and you learn about decimal numbers. Do check out our other fun learning videos and please don't forget to subscribe here and click the like button and continue the fun learning with us. Comment, like and share. Thanks for watching.